Welcome, guys, to another episode of the Wars. We're gonna ignore that. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore him. Today, I am reviewing a very special movie that comes near and dear to my heart. I, I don't like how he's staring at me, man. And that would be uh, Godzilla X Kong New Empire. See, I am a I am a kaiju fan. I like Godzilla. I think it's one of. I, f <laughs> yeah, I can't focus with this rabbit, man. It's just, it's just, just hunting me. Too. He's just hunting me down. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Godzilla and Kong. Hi. And Kaijus in general. This rabbit's gonna give me a jump scare. I swear to God. Huddle. Huddle. <laughs> oh. oh. Not even close. So, I've been hyped, right? Because the last Godzilla movie that I, like, saw was Godzilla vs. Kong. I still get to see... Uh, Godzilla minus one. I've heard it's amazing and won an Oscar, so props to that. I mean, Godzilla winning an Oscar, that's a first. But I'm, I'm literally been so excited for the new Empire Man, because, you know, Godzilla vs. Kong was so entertaining to me, because it's just it's just monkey versus lizard, and that, that was literally the meme for, like, forever, it's just monkey versus lizard. Like, who will win the ultimate battle? And it's, it's dumb, right? The concept is dumb, but it's just, like, it's supposed to be fun and entertaining, and it is, and it is. I hate that this blue guy's coming to me right now but i i just don't care don't <laughs> i hate this game never speak of that ever fuck you <laughs> ever since you showed up you've been torturing me <laughs> back to what i was saying uh i've been hyped just because like godzilla versus kong was just so entertaining in the dummy aspect and that was around like uh, the lockdown era so like you know i didn't get to watch it in theaters i watched it on a uh, release on hbo it's definitely worth it I i've watched it i think like i watched it like three times this rabbit keeps fucking me over man i can't i can't with it there's not even an aqua team there i wasted my time whatever but yeah no i watched the movie probably like three times just because i watched it once then i watched it with a friend and then i watched it like a third time just by myself because honestly it, it, it was a good movie in the sense of like monsters fighting each other not in the sense of writing because every godzilla kaiju monster verse movie i'm gonna be real is not made for the writing <laughs> The writing is not there, which is fine. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there for the writing. If the writing's good, then that just makes the movie better. I'm there for monster on monster fighting. I'm there for another monster to murder each other in cold blood in the coolest ways possible. Godzilla 2014, I mean, the kiss of death move was really cool. Like, we all know what that is, right? But oh. I don't know how I won that fight because I'm really bad right now, but it's okay. Yeah, I know. This one, it's oddly enough. It's under two hours. I think it's like an hour and 58 minute movie or 57. Also, it's their lowest budget movie. I looked into this. It's like a, their budget was like $135 million. Their budget for Godzilla vs. Kong was actually $155 million. So I'm actually impressed because visually the movie looks awesome. There's like one like little green screen thing that like kind of doesn't look good but like other than that pretty damn good i i had to say it's really solid just like seeing kong and all his fur particles and every single bit of himself just everywhere really dope and all the other apes because there's more monkeys in this movie it literally like the way i described this movie to my friends was it's monkey and lizard versus other monkey and lizard that's that's literally the entire description of the movie because well i, I don't know i'm not trying to spoil too hard but like i'm gonna spoil because i don't care man if you haven't watched the movie uh viewer discretion uh, uh advised uh i have spoilers for godzilla x kong new empire so basically kong is obviously looking for more familia because he's the last monkey so what does he do are you gonna are you gonna all right thanks he, he's the last monkey and he wants to find family of monkey so he goes looking around on the hollow earth for more monkey unfortunately does not find any he is able to make traps now and like do hickeys and little i don't know i think it's hilarious uh, are you just gonna yeah, boy. good fight oh this is not a good fight i actually uh, concede from this battle we don't have to fight anymore we can just be friends you know uh, all right yellow you're next it's on site i took that very personal it is on site yellow you just declared war against me i don't think you know what you're dealing with now so after a while he eventually finds some monkeys and they try and kill him and then he beats them up with a baby monkey probably the funniest one of the funniest memes that have come out of that movie is definitely kong literally grabbing suko the baby kong and beating the hell out of other kongs with a bra oh. 
and I think it's hilarious. And the, another meme that really like spawned that was probably one of the funniest things ever too was uh, some <laughs> ape like ranting slash yelling at Kong for like helping out a um, a worker monkey <laughs> and, and then Kong just punches him flat in the face and knocks his ass out. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> It was incredible. Hey, free kill. Let's go. I didn't do nothing for it. Never speak of this. But then eventually the Scar King shows up because, you know, he's evil stuff. I don't know. I think the lore is like he tried to he tried to declare war, all, war on the surface world. Godzilla stopped him and almost died in the process or whatever. Stuff like that. Basically, Kong and, and uh, Scar King are kind of like even kind of i don't know they go they go a little back and forth or whatever scar king then sh summons shimo which is one of the first like titans ever apparently that caused like die saged freeze to Ghidorah and everything all that stuff pretty interesting and then kong gets like major frostbite from shimo because literal like i wouldn't say ice dragon but ice lizard i guess is a good description where'd this guy go is this guy going for my base if he's going for my base this is cringe and a scam but I don't see him anywhere, so I'm just gonna avoid. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh, see, would you look at that? I was smart enough to avoid. Don't you dare do it. Uh, don't you dare do it. Uh, Fight! Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> you have like two HP and you have mining fatigue, so you might get my bed, but you might not. Psych, okay. uh, uh, you didn't. Okay, well, good job. <laughs> Rip. Can you? Yeah, that's what I think of you. Uh, this is just entertainment about- Nope, I'm not. You don't exist. Can't see it? Not my problem. I hate this bunny. To back to what I was saying. So Shimo shows up, damages Kong a lot, and, you know, this movie is very much more of a Kong-focused movie, which I don't mind, because Kong is, like, more relatable, in my opinion, to get than Godzilla. Because, you know, he's a giant monkey. He's more relatable because he's got human-like features. Being, like, you know, five fingers, legs that are normal. Oh, this guy's laggy. Oh, this guy can be hop. Is that is that what's happening? Oh, oh, his name is Ion Dragon. Huh, that's a Godzilla character. I'm just gonna. Yep, that's in the video now. I blame you. I really do. Like, I think you're the cause of all my problems. You stupid rabbit. First it was the potato war, now this. Like, wh what else are you gonna cause, huh? A second nine? I'm finishing that sentence. <laughs> Where was I? Ah, yes. So, Godzilla is more the background of this movie. Kong is more the focused character, which I don't mind, because he's very much more relatable in the sense of, like, humanoid factors or whatever. Is... Is everybody just hacking on this server? Is everybody hacking on this server? Was that scaffolding, or was that him just god-bridging? I can't tell. I don't know. I'm terrified, though. As soon as I walk over, he's just gonna start bee-hopping on me. Oh, dead. yeah. Oh, no, no, he disconnected. Thank God, I was actually getting, like, to be depressed. I'm like, what am I supposed to do against that? Godzilla's in the background on this movie, essentially, but, like, he gets, like, like, a calling from the indigenous people of the Hollow Earth, and he's like, oh, God, I gotta prep for war. And literally beginning bits of the movie, Kong, uh, not Kong, Godzilla is fighting, like, some spider crab thing that can, like, shoot, uh, webs. Beats him up. I don't know if he kills it or just, like, knocks it out or... I don't know, man. And then he sleeps in the Coliseum for a while. Then he gets the calling, and then he's like, Oh, I gotta start wrecking people's shit. And then that's what he does. He goes over to the Arctic Circle, kills a new Titan that we've never seen before, named Tiamat, which is, like, able to absorb solar radiation. And then he just... Well, actually, no. Before that, he goes around and absorbs, like, a nuclear power plant or whatever for some reason. Um, I think to just prep for the fight against Tiamat, because I guess Tiamat's really powerful. And proceeds to then molly walk Tiamat, absorb Tiamat's energy and become purple while also absorbing solar radiation. So Godzilla quite literally became a literal god. <laughs> it's in the damn name at this point. Like, y you can't deny that. But like, he literally just got like a mega amp. Like, he's super overpowered. He kind of like just, I think he just prepped because the last time he got his ass handed to him was Ghidorah and that didn't go on so well so he was like nah next time i'm gonna be the overpowered one and you're gonna be the weak ones i mean well, actually no he got packed up by uh uh mecha godzilla too but Hello there. either way 
Oh, hey, bye. Either way, like, he just wanted to pack him up for good. Honestly, I, I'm just gonna avoid. So, he over-prepares like an insane boss he is. And then Kong realizes he needs Godzilla's help to defeat Scar King and Shimo. So, he goes to the surface world, Godzilla realizes he's there, and he's pissed. Because last time they faced off, it was just them, like, kind of being like, Hey, you're cool for now, but next time I see you, it's on sight. And quite literally, it was on sight. It was ridiculous. They fought each other, Kong knocked him out for like five seconds, Godzilla got back up, and then also started beating the shit out of him. And then, lo and behold, crazy appearance, Mothra shows up, because that's part of the plot of the movie, to bring back Mothra from the dead. Because, I mean, she does that anyways, but that's part of the lore, I guess, where she has, like, all her memories as well and everything from her past lives. So, if you don't know, uh, in the lore, Mothra is, like, the queen of the monsters. So, like, Godzilla and her don't, like, shaboink, but, like, it's a, it's like a symbiotic relationship. They're, like, besties. And, like, family or whatever. I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. Oop, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Bomb has been Thank you very much. I'm just gonna... Thank you. So, Mothra and Kong and Godzilla basically- Oh my god, you had stuff. Thank you. Basically, then, team up. Because, hey, it's part of the plan. You know, team up, beat up the bad guys or whatever. So that's what they do. They team up and fight Shimo and uh, Scar King. The thing is, too, about Shimo is she's under control from the Scar King. She's not willingly wanting to fight. Do you have anything? No, you don't. You literally just have, okay, good to know, good to know. <laughs> Bruh, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Why wouldn't I be fine? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Then there's a giant epic battle, and then, um, <laughs> Rio de Janeiro, the, de, I can't even, Rio, oh my god, I can't, I can't, say, oh, okay, either way, they go to Brazil, they, get, they got banished into Brazil, and they fight in Brazil, and Brazil gets fucked over big time, big ice, ice storms, destruction, death, loss of death, probably, I, actually, probably deaths in the thousands, maybe millions, um, not a great thing, but eventually, Shimo is freed from the clutches of the scar. King. And then Kong and Godzilla beat up the Scar King. So, preceding that, they go their separate ways. Scar King and Kong are not Scar King. Scar King's dead. He's very, very bad. Uh -huh. Aha, sucker. Uh -huh. Aha, sucker. I actually thought I died right there. Where'd you go? Uh -huh. Are you kidding? This is dragged out and it's actually frustrating. Whatever, fine. He, he gets to make me talk about the movie longer. This is, this is a big TLDR because I'm not, I, I'm literally still fresh off the movie from like a few days ago and I, I I don't think I could summarize the entire movie in that fast, but still. Shimo and Kong go back to the hollow earth where the monkeys are. Kong becomes basically the new king or whatever, but like for copyright reasons, they don't call him King Kong because like copyright reasons, I guess. But yeah, then Godzilla goes back to sleep in Rome and the Coliseum, because apparently in the novelization of the movie, it feels like his old home. And I'm just saying, bro, we blew that shit up, and I feel bad for Godzilla. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Die to shears. Get out of here. GG. That took way too long. Either way, it was a good movie. I would probably give it like a seven or seven and a half, maybe eight out of ten. It was fun. It was literally just dumb monster fun, but I don't think it's my favorite of the MonsterVerse movies. I think uh, King of the Monsters is still by far my favorite because it's just Game Ghidorah is so cool. He's so cool. Just in my opinion, my personal opinion. Scar King is just more funny because he has more like memeable things or whatever. I'd say on my rankings, it'd probably be like second place of the monster first movies for me at least so uh yeah that was another episode of bad wars guys hope you liked it subscribe like comment all that stuff hit the join button i'll see you in the next video bye is it time dio oh it's trainer D dario i thought it was time dio all right bye